Here's Victoria and Anthony with an AMI This Week Shortcut. With the support of the Ontario chapter of the Canadian Deafblind Association, Daryl Armstrong has stepped outside his comfort zone to create a play that tells the story of his journey in life as a deafblind individual. Finding My Way One Step at a Time explores themes of misunderstanding, access, growth and acceptance. Let's head to W. Ross McDonald's School for the Blind to learn more. Daryl Armstrong never thought he'd be in the spotlight, center stage, but that's exactly where he found himself with the help of the Canadian Deaf Blind Association or CBDA. New to playwriting, Daryl has stepped out of his comfort zone to bring a piece of his life to the stage. My play is about uh, my experiences in my life. I like them to take away as like, experiences as being a deafblind person and to treat us all the same as equal. Daryl admits opening up about challenges he has faced in his life was in itself an obstacle, but he found the process rewarding. Uh, it was difficult in, uh, to share with other people about it, but uh, made me, it, it made me stronger. In addition to opening up, Daryl's play is also about some very important people, interveners. These unsung heroes, through the CBDA, work with and for persons with disabilities to help them through everyday life, set goals, and most importantly, achieve those goals. Daryl's intervener is Kirk Sherbert, and they've been working together for seven years. Daryl shared how having someone to help him learn in his own unique way has changed his life. It's been here last match, right? Tell you the truth. Uh, he's been guiding me in how to do things properly and teaching me the rules how to do things and speak loudly and clearly. And also, he also speaks slowly with other people too, so they can understand me. Kirk explained how traditional forms of aid were simply not effective for Daryl and how the help of an intervener turned things around. People had good intentions but really just weren't making the mark, weren't, weren't meeting what his needs were. Over time, uh, the process gave him a better understanding of what interveners should be doing. The intervention is about hitting the mark, is about talking about the mark, it's about how we need to make that mark happen for him. Beyond fulfilling Daryl's needs and being a great intervener, Kirk gets a lot of joy out of his work, especially when he gets to be a part of large projects like this one. It's uh, an overwhelming experience actually, because you know, to be able to, I think every intervener wants to do their best they can for their, for their consumer, for the, for the person who they work with who is deaf blind. And I think to be involved in a project uh, helps me feel that I'm delivering my service and feeling happy to do it at the same time. Like it's sort of like having your cake and eating it too. So it, it's, it's pretty good. If you don't understand, if you want a helping hand, who can you call? I to be there. All right. Kathy Prohl is the CEO of the Canadian Deaf Blind Association, Ontario chapter. In attendance for the performance, she spoke to why it's important for the CBDA to support Daryl's vision. I think this is a great initiative that he's taken on. Um, also, this is Deaf Blind Awareness Month, so um, this is a great opportunity to bring some awareness to uh, folks around the province. Although there are no plans for another performance just yet, Kirk mentioned why this is a must-see and why for Daryl, it's just the beginning. Daryl really put his heart and soul into it. Uh, I think there's more to learn than just a journey. I think so many people can be inspired by it, uh, by watching it and how intervention really does impact lives. I think he's just starting, he's on the tip of an iceberg here and I think he's really developing higher skills uh, and I think he's already starting on another play. With the rumor of another play in the works, I wondered if Daryl thought he might be a natural at playwriting. Well, <laughs> well, I say I'm just a beginner. Okay. 
That's amazing. Daryl sounds like a wonderful young man. He certainly is. Also, there is no timeline for his next play, but it will be called The Garden of Differences. I'm intrigued by the title. Yeah, me too.